Well, welcome to the Ask Dr. Wilson show. We are your hosts. I'm Dr. Nick Wilson. I'm Dr. Tracy Gross. On this podcast, we have conversations about health. We talk about what it is, where it comes from, and really how you can achieve it for yourself and your entire family. I hope you enjoyed this episode on the Ask Dr. Wilson show. We are talking arthritis. We're talking about the causes and what contributes to it and what you can do about it naturally. And yes, I said what you can do about it naturally because there are things you can do that can help yourself if you have arthritis. So if you, you yourself, you know somebody you love who has arthritis, listen up because we are talking about what you can do to not only feel better, but get better. Mm, yeah. So there are some things that fuel arthritis, yes? Yes, yes. We, so we talked about alignment, alignment of joints. That is the first thing that needs to be addressed. But often we see this all the time. We take care of patients who are getting adjusted regularly and they're, they're doing great. They're doing their exercises, everything that we tell them to do, but they're still having pain and they're still having inflammation in their body. We talked about arthritis being inflammation in the joints. Mm -hmm. So then we have to ask the question, what are other things that you're doing in your life that are contributing to inflammation. Right. Because you can keep the inflammation there even when the cause is removed. Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? It's by what you're putting in your mouth mostly. Yes. What you're putting yes. in your mouth. And there are things that you are putting in your mouth that might be fueling the flame of inflammation in your joints. Right, right. You you can get adjusted, get your spine back into alignment, but we talk about this all the time. We hit this hard. Um, the number one thing that you're putting in your body that causes and fuels inflammation is what? Sugar. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Sugar is in incredibly inflammatory to our bodies. And so when we're struggling with things like arthritis and we're doing seemingly all of the right things, the first place to look is your diet. That's right. And it's not just candy. It's not just soda. It's not just the things that are mm, obvious. Mm -hmm. It's also oatmeal. You know, it's also mm -hmm. breads. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that people don't think about is that grains turn to sugar. And so, you know, if you have arthritis, the last thing you want to be doing is feeding the flame of arthritis and feeding it with sugar. And so what are some things that you can eat that are not going to feed arthritis? Well, good healthy fats are one of them. Healthy is the caveat there. I'm not going to go into what all good fats are, but they are, in just essence, God food, not man food. So an avocado or coconut or coconut oil versus hydrogenated oils, you know, avocado, God food, hydrogenated oils, man food. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. All right. So <laughs> easy enough. <laughs> uh, you know, good healthy protein that's from a good source. Uh, if it's a protein that's, let's say, uh, from a from from cows, you know, you want a hundred percent grass fed, grain fed beef also feeds inflammation. So grain fed beef, even if it's gr uh, grass fed but grain finished, is also going to be inflammatory to your body, including your joints. And so, uh, you know, these things, good, healthy fats, proteins, and I say grains to get rid of grains, but uh, remember, not all carbs are created equal. So you actually want vegetables. You want carbohydrates from vegetables. You want berries because there are properties within life-giving food that will help your joints and help your body and help to decrease inflammation. Granny Smith apple, berries uh, as an example, loading up on kale, loading up on uh, green leafy vegetables in general, all of those are packed full of nutrients that can help you. Yeah. Yeah. Food is the first place to start when we're cleaning up what we're putting in our bodies. Um, but then also there are, are supplements that you can, you can help to, or you can take to help decrease inflammation, things like omega threes, mm -hmm. uh, fish oil, vitamin D also, um, those things are supplementary to the diet, That's right. but they're definitely beneficial. That's right. And it's always food first. So food first, change your food. You can't supplement your way out of a bad diet. Mm -hmm. That's why with Max Living, we believe that nutrition matters. We believe that poisons are a problem and toxicity is a real threat. And we believe that oxygen is crucial. We believe that a healthy mindset is vital and a balanced nervous system is the foundation. At the end of the day, this is a full encompassing approach to health. And call it healthcare if you want, but start with the basics. Stop fueling the fire. If you know you have problems with achy joints, pain, quit fueling the fire, cut out sugar, and stop feeding it. 
Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, several patients who are great examples of what happens when you do clean up the things that you're putting in your body. Um, One person in particular who comes to mind for me, um, his name was Bob and he had been getting adjusted with us for years. He had been through a couple of rounds of corrective care and was in a season of maintenance care. And he still had um, all this pain from arthritis in his low back. And then he did a seven-day food log, sat down with our naturopathic doctor, and uh, Dr. Phil really helped guide him through the ways that he could change what he was eating. And simply by cutting out the five sodas that he was drinking every day, oh, man. and he stopped getting fast food three nights a week, he was completely out of pain after years of getting adjusted. So really, he addressed the alignment. He was taking care of that. And then once he addressed what he was putting in his body that was causing that inflammation and causing that pain, now he's out playing basketball with his kids. He's, uh, he's in his 50s. And when he, when he first came in for his first appointment, he said his number one goal was to be able to beat his, his boys in mm-hmm. basketball. And mission accomplished, 50 years old, and he's still tearing up the court. Yeah, and that's the thing is that, you know, There's sometimes just, you're just one step away. Mm -hmm. You're one step away. And you, sometimes there's people that have done the right things and there's one thing that is holding them back from that breakthrough. Yeah. That breakthrough. And for Bob is that one thing, he got the pressure off. So he was able to heal, but he was continuing to feed the flame of, of inflammation that was still existing in the joints. And by the way, if it's existing in the joints, it's existing in your blood vessels. Hmm. You just feel it, but that's just like a check engine light going off in your car. That's a warning sign telling you to stop doing this, that it's hurting, not just your joints. It's don't look at your joints separate from your blood vessels that are separate from your heart, that's separate from your lymph system, that's separate from everything else. It's all connected. So when you understand that inflammation in your joints is also inflammation in your blood vessels, which is also inflammation in the heart. Now think heart disease. Now think cholesterol. Now think of placking of the arteries and all of those things. So it is, show me somebody with arthritis. I'm going to also going to show you somebody who's developing heart disease. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's the same mechanisms. So, you know, as you take that approach, it's not a treatment of arthritis. It's a condition of your body and you're reconditioning your body so that it can be its absolute best Mm -hmm. and be resilient. The good news about everything being all connected like that is that everything is all connected by your nervous system. So when we talk about getting to the root cause, that's why we start with the nervous system because it controls literally everything and it controls the function, it controls the healing, it controls the the level of inflammation that's in all of the parts of your body. So when you have a healthy, balanced nervous system, system, you just said, everything is founded upon a balanced nervous system. That's right. So when you address that first, your body's healing potential is unlimited. In summary with this is that your nervous system controls all health and all healing within the body. Mm-hmm. Nervous system is first. It must be balanced. Mm-hmm. Nutrition matters. Toxicity is a problem. Oxygen is crucial that's why we exercise, that's why we move, that's why we don't necessarily cover up our, you know, primary mechanism of getting oxygen, <laughs> by the way. Um, you know, mind- side note. <laughs> side note, yeah. Mindset is healthy. Mindset is vital, actually. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the way, that's also why we don't fill ourselves up with fear. I continue to go down this pathway mm-hmm. of uh, whatever. But It's okay, it's where we're at. You know, but the nervous system is the absolute founda- foundation And when you understand that your body runs on electricity and that those bones in your spine are only there to not just hold you upright, but also to surround and protect your lifeline inside of you, then you start to see the bigger picture of why that those bones exist in the first place. And the pain that you might be experiencing might just be a warning sign to say, hey, something is wrong on or near the most important system inside your your body. And it's what controls and communicates to your organs and can communicates and controls every function within your body is through this cord that's going through those bones. And that pain that you're having is just a warning sign saying, Hey, you need to do something differently right now. And unfortunately matter has limitations. When we leave our problems there, our problems don't get better on their own. They don't self resolve uh, outside of a miracle. They typically continue to progress down these phases of arthritis. And there's three phases of arthritis. The first phase is when 
you start to initially lose that alignment. And the initial phases of those bones and joints begin the process of degeneration. The second phase is when you can actually see the disc space thinning. You can see the joints starting to change their shape. And the third phase is when it's actually uh, fully fused. And unfortunately, we have seen the, the after effect of matter having limitations. Mm-hmm. You know, I had a patient come in uh, several years ago who was in phase three arthritis and we took x-rays and I saw it and that means his bones actually physically and naturally fused together in his neck. And I just remember sitting down with them after having gone through his full history, his full goals, what he wanted to achieve out of life, what he, why he was there. He wanted to um, get on the floor and play with his grandson. He wanted to get back uh, into his golf game. He wasn't able to get in his backswing very easily. And uh, he had all this hope and all this excitement for uh, himself to uh, progress and get better. And when I took the x-rays and saw that his bones were literally fused together, like it was like a punch in the gut for me because I knew I had to go back in to talk with them with bad news. And I don't like delivering bad news. And Unfortunately, when those bones fuse together, there's nothing you can do about that. There's no special adjustment. There's no special surgery uh, that uh, can unfuse a fused spine. Um, There's no drug that you can take. And what's interesting is the guy was already on 22 different medications because his body had been breaking down Hmm. and he just didn't know it. And what he did for it was continue to mask symptoms. He took a medication for his blood pressure he took a medication for his cholesterol he took a medication for his thyroid and over time and over years one led to another and i think that a lot of people um, don't realize that that's a possibility and i also don't think that most people realize that there's a different way and that they can make a different decision Um, but it does require a choice it does require action not just having a good idea, not just knowing what to do and not doing it. Um, a lot of people know that an apple is better than a donut, but they continue to eat the donuts, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of people know that they need to get adjusted and have better alignment and have uh, and probably take care of their spine and nervous system, but they don't choose that, right? I think that the people right now who are listening, I think you're listening for a reason, and you have a choice in the matter, and you can choose a different way. And if you know, listen, you have... You have arthritis, you have achy joints, you have pain, you have neck pain, back pain, you have headaches, you have shoulder pain, you have hip problems. Listen, you can continue living that way, but you have a choice in the matter and this is your your life and you have one shot at this. And I believe that you're listening for a reason and maybe this is your time to make that different decision and go a different route with your health and healthcare. care.